What's up, guys? Your boy Vibe here with Team oh Wiggy. Got my boy Jorge here with the spice and the. I don't know what it is, but he's gonna tell you what it is. Nice. He plays a uh, spiral nightmare. Just <laughs> hella combo. That's what it is. Let's just go. Come on, come on. Alright, shows we playing it. Alright, so um, so yeah, pretty much spiral combo. The deck still isn't dead. We still got more support coming out. When is it? That new one with the uh, magician soul, whatever. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about mermaid. No Fuego, more Fuego, yeah. Yeah, no more um Draco Sack combo. Uh now that we oh, got oh, show the G Shock. Oh, G Shock, what's up? What's up with it? Is that a G Shock? Ain't no G Shock. That's not a G Shock. <laughs> All right, so um, let's just get straight into it. Um, no mermaid, but we're not worried about it. Uh, let's go three super agent. Uh, you gotta play three. Um, it's just free summon if you call a card correctly, which you will because you run a card in here that just allows you to stack deck. Um, one tough. We're actually playing tough now just because uh, in the grind game, um, if you still have resort on the field, you can just add him, normal summon it, and then you're just popping off from there. So he's really good. Uh, for the one ofs, one quick fix. Um, Hella abusable, you search everything with him literally in one turn, it's so good. Uh, one drone, drone plus super agent is combo, so you gotta play him, of course. One sleeper and then the helmet card to go along with him. Uh, this is pretty much win condition right here. If you have this plus combo, like you're, you're bound to win. Pop two during either player's turn, really good. Um, last resort, I was playing at two, but I think just one because you wanna search as least as you can because you just, you wanna open up as consistently as you can, so we wanna cut as much um, of the cards without having to just like kill the combo. So I think just one is fine. Um, plus, if you see this with Sleeper, you're, you're, like I said, you're bound to win. And then we're also playing two Master Plan. So the reason for this being, um, you drawing, drawing, hard drawing it is actually not bad anymore because if they ask your double helix, you still have danger cards, which we do play in here, which allow you to discard this. So you want to see this either on the field or in your graveyard. That way you have cards like Monster Born, Big Red, that just allow you to just um, continue adding your mission cards. So even if it gets ash, it doesn't matter. You can uh, Foolish Burial Goods, send the Spiral uh, Mission spell, banish it, summon this, add your cards, and then like nothing ever happens. So this plays uh, pretty good against hand traps now uh, with the two master plan, I think is really good. That's it for the spirals. Um, we're playing dangers, so three. Uh, You're in danger. Yeah, so best danger in this deck just because um, if it gets hit, allowing you to discard any card of your choice is really good in this deck just because if you have the uh, spiral mission and spell of traps, just discarding those and just continuing with your combo is just really good. And even if they don't hit it, you still get the free draw. So it's just, it's, 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 all the dangers are free. So just two of these, two of these, two of these, and one Chupacabra. So like, I decided to play Chupacabra. We okay, needed, that's... we needed a little bit more names. So I decided to play Chupacabra because like, if we happen to draw into it, if they do hit it, you're just going to summon one of these. So it, like I said, it's just, we're comboing off, just putting more monsters on the field. So Chupacabra just allows you to, um, you know, if you use like your Nessie already and like your, your Sushinoko and you want to, if you want to put like a beater, you can like, you know, if it gets pop bring him out, whatever. Um, but it's just, we, we wanted more names, and uh, I think this is a really good ratio for the deck. Um, now, this is the spice. What you got for So, you? I'm doing a small warrior package. I'm doing this, oh. uh, I'm doing this, uh, one Dark Griffer and a three Malicious. If you're playing any combo deck, you need to be playing this, honestly, because, like, opening this and this, you summon, right? And then... Send this, or Nessie, yeah, right? I mean, yeah, Nessie allows you to add, so I mean, sending this or the Nessie, whatever, you're just gonna plus so much, you're just gonna be adding cards to hand, this allows you to, and this back to three is so good. So like, once you see that first one, you're you're automatically gonna combo. There's no way you're not comboing with this deck. Um, so, uh, really good that this is now back to three. Way to go, Konami. <laughs> Show it to him. Show it to him. All right, so that's it for the monsters, on for the spells. You're playing combo, so you gotta play three Call by the Grave. Self-explanatory. <laughs> Easy. Um, two Twin Twister, I want to main these just because against like all we the back row. Right? Yeah. Um, I think three, three's a brick. We, we're already really tight. This is above 40. I don't know the count. I think it's at 42 right now. But um, How still. How the Twins treat you? The Twins were pretty good. Uh, I was um, playing against some uh, some friends here at, at our locals at Augie's and uh, ended up hitting a lot of back row today. So Twin Twister is always, uh, always clutch. Um, Two Foolish Barrel Goods, three's a brick. Uh, you want to see this, but you don't You don't really mind, I don't really mind opening up with, I mean, no, it's not good to see two of them, honestly. <laughs> I was gonna say seeing two is good, but no, you just, um, it's not necessary, but it just allows you to extend. No, if it wasn't a once per turn, I mean, Yeah, then that's a different story. That's all right, and then, 
All right, you ready? All the one of so. Let's hit it. Reinforcement, Foolish, One for One, Monster Reborn, Car Destruction, really good, came up clutch today. Um, World Legacy Secession, One Terraforming, to search that is a Spiral Resort. Uh, Sprout Gear, Big Red. People playing this at two, I think one's okay, just because I go into Nightmares and when I um, end on Griffin, I just set this, literally, and then I get the free draw. So that's just, that's clutch. Um, this man got like a One Assault. Fourth of the and then three. And then the other Spice, since we're, since... Um, that's not a one of, sir. No, this is at three of. <laughs> this is always at three. I've seen oh, people. You said it was one. I know, I know. I've seen people play this at two. I think that's wrong. This is just free summon. And then more Show spice. Us the spice. Show us the spice. What is this? Cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the Trigate, Trigate lock allows you to have a uh, spiral double helix. Since this is considered a super agent, having this is just another disruption against your opponent. Um, I play this a lot against uh, uh, trap decks, which is really good. They set a trap or something, and you can just put it back. They have to set it again, which is really nice. Um, <laughs> straight chefing it up. Um, like every time, every time I'm gonna have like a tri uh, trigate lock uh, with the sleeper, and then since I have the um, double helix on board, I'm always gonna see this card is always live. Um, quick fix just makes. Quick fix, dangers, and the malicious just make it make the deck so alive right now. I, I love it right now. So yeah, that's it for the main. But extra. Two. Um, yeah, I was I was playing the warrior. Uh, what was the name? Isold. Isolde. Yeah, Isold. Um, Isold's really not that good, honestly. Just we need to keep this just you know purely spiral. I mean, we play Nightmares too, but I mean, just, we want to see, like, this has to go off in order for you to combo pretty much, so, actually not really, because even if they Ash us, like I said, um, that's why we play the two Master Plan now, we can kind of just, like, play around it, so it's just really good, um, and then, Nightmare Package, bye-bye Mermaid. Bye-bye Mermaid. Yeah, we don't need a Mermaid anymore, see honestly. Now, see mermaid. Yeah, and a lot of people were gonna try and hit the Mermaid anyways, so, like, the fact that we could just play around that now, like, it doesn't even matter. Mermaid needed to be gone. Uh, one link Rebo. Uh, yeah, he's really good. Um, he's part. He's part of the try get luck. Um, one. I can never under. I can never read this card. Barricade board blocker. Wow, this guy's good. Just the free discard is really why I use him. And then from there, I go into my nightmare combos and just constantly draw nice with him. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the free discard is so nice. Um, one proxy. Um, proxy for what? Uh, you can put him on the left of the try gate. Uh, if you want to protect because he just allows you to um, If something were to be destroyed he can target the um, The sleeper which you have on the field and so the sleeper can be destroyed uh, by battle card effects and it's just Free protection with him is really nice uh, Trigate Really nice uh, so that's decode. Yeah, so game. yeah, I'm just going I'm gonna go into the rest decode yeah, I, gotcha, I barely even make it. you don't really need to play this uh, one brawl sword I barely even make it because I just make trigate lock um, this one. <laughs> um, Abyss Dweller, because you can make it. And then, uh, this is Opalooza. You can literally play around uh, Rock now. So this should be an Opalooza. If I had an Opalooza, I'd be playing it right now, but I'm not, so. It doesn't matter, even with the Opalooza. Like, like what hurts this deck the most is just Rock, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, so Opalooza literally just stops that. But, um, still a really fun deck. I mean, you're... Is more consistent now that you have more, more combo material. You have the um, uh, the malicious that just allows you to keep plussing. Uh, this guy allows you to just free discard. Like this is the, we this is the guy we really needed. So um, having him is really important in the deck and especially in the combo. Uh, that uh, going into the nightmares it just allows you to draw was really good. And is then any, uh, before you go on, is there any problems that uh, you you? saw during this tournament like or anything like just in general in general with this deck um not I mean, really i mean cards. i mean there's times where like i just draw into a lot of danger mm -hmm. and then i don't really see the rest the rest like I, I pretty much need to see spiral names but well yeah of course everybody everybody has bricks every now and then yeah it's but like, um but like i think this Honestly, in my my opinion, this is more consistent than with within what we had with like Mermaid and like even before that, which was uh, we had a uh, who we have on the um, I don't know. 
All I know is this is really good with uh, with barricade board blocker. Is just make it so much better. Okay. Um, that's good. That's good. yeah. We just want to know, making sure like, is your opponent pulling anything that's going to hurt you? Um, I mean, ashing the double helix and then not having another master plan probably is a is a can be a big hit. Or just the rock in general. I mean, if you hit if you hit me with Nibiru, even not really because. Depending on like what what you have in your hand, like if they Nibiru you and like you have like a big red, let's say you can just bring something out and just like kind of sit on that. Yeah, you can just sit on it maybe okay. if you if you need to. Um, I mean, there's like ways to like getting around certain scenario, but um, like I said, we still need more consistency. We got Magician Soul coming up, so that's going to be even better. I'm going to be playing Roar. That was going to be so nice. Um, so yeah, that was the extra deck I showed you. So side deck, three Ash. Cool, uh, don't cool. really side it, but I mean, just in case, you know, going second, yeah. uh, three Artifact right. Lancia. Um, gotta have those. Uh, three evenlies. Gotta have those. This right. just I got evenly one time by Juan for seven. Worst feeling ever. I couldn't do shit about it. I didn't have try get lock. I was so dumb. Um, so yeah, evenlies are godly. Dark rulers no more. Uh, mainly for the pendulum. I uh, I don't really see anybody playing pendulum. No one's really playing pen pendulum right now. Are they here? No one. Not here, but not, not here. Not today. But, um, and then one of the well, the last. Twin Twister from the deck. Um, so I'm playing fully armed in the side. You have your permit for that? <laughs> Call that. <laughs> Andrew. Yes, I do. I have my permit, man. But he's really good. I just take out the uh, other, sp uh, the Spiral Gear trap. I just switch this out. So if, if I'm going second, this just allows me to um, um, put more pressure on board against my opponent if he like, goes first. I'll go second, attach this to anything, or any uh, Spiral Super Agent. Give it a 1,000, attack, 2,900, destroy and banish that monster, and then non-target banish, which is really good. Nice. It's come up a lot, actually. Nice, right. And then uh, Josh's Random Spice for me to play the one Unending Nightmare. You'd be surprised, man. That's all I'm saying. Never ending nightmare. Yeah, it worked, actually. Just oh, kidding. So I've never seen this. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, still, everything else is pretty much important. So that I mean, spice went sour. It, a any, little sour. Any, any changes in the deck? Definitely the unending nightmare. All right. Okay. And then. But uh, besides that, I mean, maybe not the ash. I mean, uh, uh, Nibiru. If anything, good, yeah. yeah, Nibiru. Honestly, uh, Nibiru is a much better card. Do you guys um, have any problems when uh, when the game starts running a little longer than you expected? Uh, well, the grinding game is actually good. So Reed had me meaning the uh, the tough, which is really nice. So most times you'll have the spiral resort after your combo, and since that stays on the field, you're just gonna constantly be adding. And once you have your tough um, with the with the spiral mission rescue, if you want, you can save this, uh, have it set, and then activate it. You're gonna keep adding, you know, keep adding tough to your hand. That just allows you to pop pop off every turn, which is really good. Um, so the grind game is pretty good. Um, besides that, I think this is a uh, pretty solid. Do you have any shout outs? Oh man, do I got some shout outs today. Shout outs to Dabbers, to Augies, of course, we're here, we're live. Our little neighborhood locals. Our neighborhood locals, shout out card fans, is an app that just allows you to attend different tournaments in locals, which is just amazing. Um, technology, man. We're getting into 2020. We're doing big things. Send them um, to the Shadow Realm in new out, ways. Yep. Shout out Wicked Deals, man, because we got the Wicked Deals. Let me tell you. Shout out these Ash Blossom because I'll never play them. Um, yeah, shout out, shout out Nibiru. That's a crazy card. Uh, besides that, thank you, Josh, for the unending nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it, man. So this is No Mermaid, like I said. Pretty spicy list. Y'all can try it out yourself. Y'all can check us out on YouTube. You can try to check us out on our Instagram. It's not on, the, on this one, but Team Wicked on Instagram. We have Twitter. No. no Twitter. Facebook. We have a Facebook, though. Check us out there. Come check us out. Locals, we have every Thursday. Pornhub? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. In the, in the video. See ya.